And I fly up north most every day And I fly, it's always been my way We're about to go for beaver flight going to go do some touch and goes in the river and off to some lakes and I'm going to have so much fun. Bye. See you after. <laughs> Hi, Dave Hadfield here and today I've had the great good fortune to be invited by Mike Potter to do some water landings in his absolutely gorgeous, spectacular DHC2 beaver. Take our position. And then it's important to push this back down. Oh, here. push the so B40s. So, initial pre-start, got log books and papers and so water rudder is up. I don't have much time in a beaver, so I'm sitting in the right seat and watching. Carpet is cold. Fuel is on. Then it's out. Mm -hmm. Up on. Very unmistakable. Very clear. It's a busy Gatineau Saturday, but off we go. We're on amphibious floats, but with 36 inches of manifold pressure and only the three of us on board, we're airborne in no time. Mike accelerates, retracts the flap from takeoff to climb, and then brings the power back to max continuous, which is 30 inches and 2,000 RPM, numbers I have to remember. It's a right turnout after takeoff on runway 27 in Gatineau. And there's our hangar, the Mike Potter Aircraft Collection and Vintage Wings of Canada. Two miles to the south is the Ottawa River, where we'll do some landings. It's the Labor Day weekend, and Mike plans his landing to avoid the pleasure boats. These are all power-on approaches, and the goal is smooth and steady. Robin's impressed and so am I. We just tickled on. It was lovely to watch. And I sure hope I made notes because now it's time to change seats. So I move my big knobbly knees back and around while Mike keeps control in the right seat and off we go. The water rudders on these floats work really well. There's a boat full of curious sightseers too close to our left wing. They don't understand that I haven't taken off in a float plane in about 13 years, so I'm waving them off. Then it's water rudders up. Straighten out, make sure it's clear, and smoothly bring the power up to 36 inches. So let's talk about that takeoff. 
it stick hard back to the stop, smoothly advance the throttle because we never do anything harsh with radial engines. And we let the nose rear up high to get up on top of the water and keep the propeller out of the spray. And then it accelerates and we move forward with the stick to rock the airplane up onto the step, which is happening right about now. And we're looking for a sweet spot where the ripple will break the suction and it'll just tickle out of the water with no stress at all. God, I love this. Canada, you know, is about one-third water. And if you want to explore it, you have to leave the roads behind. And sure, we're still on the Ottawa River, but I do need the practice. And it's wonderful to have the chance. Anyway, we find the water and Off we go again. I'm still a bit fumble-fingered. Flap selector, hand pump, power back, get the right numbers. But it sure feels great. And then Mike says, let's go up to the Gatineau Hills. Once there was a Vickers next to Moth on floats. A Foker and a fair child and a Norseman hauling bowls. Well, like most Canadians, Mike has a friend who has a cottage on a lake. And it's on the other side of that pothole. So we plan an approach that misses the high ground and the back eddies and sneaks in over that saddle. Well, we're not tying up to a dock tonight. It's time to go back to the hangar. Our wheels are down. Not up like the last landing, but down. They all have flown with me And I 
might fly up north most every day and I fly it's always been my way I've been up here for far too long but I still like what I see cause I live here in the north and the north lives here in 